Hello beautiful Tenno, how are you guys doing today? So we're gonna be going over how to basically form up, polarize, put catalysts and reactors on, how all that stuff works. And uh, I'll give you some tips and tricks a lot of you probably didn't know if you're not already watching my previous videos. Um, one thing that's gonna save you a lot of platinum actually in getting catalysts, reactors and all that stuff. It's a really cool method that uh, I'm not sure a lot of people know about, but it's hecka worth doing. Anyway. We're gonna go into upgrade, right? And we're gonna look at it's my ember build, which is personal, and I'm keeping it that way. Hopefully, good. This is a dead build. We got nothing going on here. Let me kill all this stuff. All right. So here's what you guys need to understand: with polarizing builds, forma, all that stuff. Before you forma anything, the first thing you want to do is you want to either throw a reactor or a catalyst. They will be found here. I got that from the bottom right of the screen. So go to actions. And if it's a Warframe you're looking to mess with the build, it'll be a reactor that's here. And if it's a weapon, it'll be a catalyst. But the first thing you want to do is put this on a Warframe or a, or, or a weapon. Reactor, catalyst on your Warframe or weapon. Why? Because you have a limited capacity of mods that you could fit on your build. And it says right up here that there is a capacity. I currently have available 60 out of 60 capacity. Now, the only reason it says 60 is because I already have a reactor on this Warframe. Same thing with weapons. It would say 60 out of 60 because I'd already have catalysts on my weapons. Now, typically if you, you buy Warframes or weapons, Video. Dark, thank you for the four, 14 months, man. Thank you for that. What's up, Dark? If you guys are buying reactors or catalysts out of the market, I mean, if you're buying Warframes or weapons out of the market, they're typically already gonna have a catalyst or a reactor on them. So for those of you that, you know, run over to the market over here and you're like, hey, uh, maybe I want to buy Chorus, he's a pain in the butt to farm. Maybe I want to buy Gauss, he's a pain in the butt to farm. Or Equinox or whatever. Um, just know that when you buy them, they will already, this Warframe will already come with a reactor on it. You don't even have to think twice about it, they just do. They don't give you extra forma, but that's fine. The reactor is all you really need. Um, especially in the beginning to kind of get yourself like started, kicked off with all the, the building and everything. So. We have 60 out of 60 capacity because we put the reactor or the catalyst on the Warframe or weapon. Now, weapons don't have this, but Warframes do, which is an Aura slot right here. This Aura slot is typically the first thing that you want to fill, and here's why. Because you see how this has a symbol? We'll get into this in a second, but you see how this has a symbol? I'm gonna match the symbol. So it's green. I grab this mod, it lights up green, which means it's good to go. I drop it there, and my capacity jumps from 60 to 74. The Aura mod slot, which is top left corner always, is the only mod slot that will always increase the capacity if you match the polarity. Now, if I put something like here, this is a V polarity, and I throw that on here, it only goes 65. So it increases it, but it doesn't increase it what it's really worth. Now, how do you know what it's worth? Uh, how did I know that was going to add 74 on here? Because right now, this is how polarizing and why you form a thing. So uh, I'm getting into this now. You see at the top right of every mod, there is a number. The number up here is seven. That means that seven is what we're working with. The amount of capacity that this mod is going to take up is going to be seven. But because it's an aura mod, if we match the polarity here, it's going to double it. So seven plus seven is 14. That's why it goes from 60 to 74. Makes sense, right? So now let's say for a regular mod, that's not an aura mod. Um, if I take this adaptation right here, which says 12, I should expect to lose 12 capacity. This should go to 62. So if I throw this here, it goes to 62. But Neo, you just said match the polarities. Yes. Since we happen to have a depolarity, which is right here, and this happens to have a depolarity, and when I say that, you're just matching the symbols. We have a V polarity, a D polarity, a dash, and then we have our Xeneric. And this is a uh, umbral. You guys, will, some of you may not be here yet. Some of you have gotten there. You'll, it'll make sense. All you're doing is matching it. So if I grab this and put it on here, now instead of us losing 12, we're only losing six. So you want to match polarities. Now that's what formas do. So if I go down here and I grab my polarization, this is an umbral forma, which are really rare. You can get these from Teshin and some quests will give you these, but don't spend these like crazy. Just, they're very rare. I haven't, I don't really spend these and I only have 17 of them. I, I'm just telling you guys, as you get through the game, really make sure you know you're going to want 
to like you make sure you love whatever it is you're going to use one of these on because they are rare they don't come around very often and not every mod is an umbral mod so it doesn't always make sense to do this most of you want to lock umbral mods until you hit a certain point throughout the quest of the game so it doesn't even matter if you're brand new but eventually it will and when you get there don't just start throwing these away when you get them it's very important make sure you absolutely love your frame uh, then we have Aura Formas. This obviously is for the Aura Forma slot. And I'll get back to this in a second. And then we have the regular Forma. So I'm going to take my regular Forma. Be sure you want to install yes. I can either click one of these slots that I already have formed and change the polarity. Or I could pick a new one and I could add a polarity to it. So whatever it is that I'm going to do. Now, how do I know what polarity I want to add to my build? Well, let's say the smart thing to do is... If I know what I'm going to put on my builds, and I know that Blind Rage has a cost of 16, but everything else has a cost of 12 or less, then I'm definitely going to want to take the 16 and split that in half. That's the one I'm going to want to throw on the form of slot. So once I've done that, I'm saving myself a lot of, uh, like, I'm saving myself capacity. It's the smarter way to go about doing it. So now when it comes to you guys, like, let's say you had a build that didn't have anything form it on it. How do you know what's a forma? Well, hopefully you already know what builds you're going to want to use. Otherwise, there's no. why would you even be forming it if you don't know what your build's supposed to look like? But figure out whatever the most expensive mod on the build is first. And then that's the forma that you want to use. That's the polarity that you want to make. And just so we're clear, this is a forma. These are formas, right? This symbol is a polarity. So the mods show you the polarity, your builds after you formed them allow you to put or add a polarity or even take away a polarity. But, so that's Mongrel the difference between- says, how you doing, Neo? Great Mongrel, how you doing? Making a video. So this is uh, polarities and formas and the difference between them. So now you guys understand what polarities are, how formas work, uh, that you want to add a reactor or a catalyst to your builds first and foremost before anything else. All right, so I had mentioned earlier about the reactors and the catalysts and where you get those from. So there's many different places you can get them. A lot of times DE winds up having a dev stream and they'll wind up having like, uh, you can get catalyst reactors in alerts uh, over here sometimes. And you could also find every once in a while during invasion missions, they might be a reward that you could go after that'll drop in invasion missions. Um, but aside from all that, aside from buying them out of the in-game market, you guys can also get them here in Nightwave, but I don't recommend doing this. I made a video as to why. You guys can literally come here, go to Nightwave, and in the video I get into a lot more detail about it. So if you really want to understand why, they're here for you to buy, but they cost 75 Nora credits. You don't want to do this. Instead, you'd rather buy other things that you can trade, like maybe an Energy Siphon, a Physique, or whatever. And you want to trade those, make Platinum, and then with the Platinum that you made, go to the market and then buy your reactors or catalysts from the market. So a Roken here, Roken catalyst, 20 plat, a Roken reactor, 20 plat. It, you'll wind up being able to sell those mods and making enough to just buy these flat out, which saves you Nightwave credit, which ultimately is a better thing to do. And if you're doing it right, you'll wind up having extra platinum at the end of it. But all of that is in the video that I had, I had made about it which is right here and uh you guys want to watch other videos about earning platinum uh or just any other thing about the game that you might be a little lost on or just kind of helpful stuff always uh always check my channel for it because a lot of it's already there already also i'm live every day on twitch come hang out you guys can earn free warframes weapons or mods but all that being said thank you everybody for hanging out please leave a like subscribe and uh love your face see you guys later